How will you feel when you know that someone is praying and interceding for you every day? That is how we hold our partners with high esteem, standing in the gap and praying for you without season. NDTV is God's plan to transform lives and help people to get their freedom from every form of oppression, walk in victory, discover their original destiny and the plan of God for them. Together, we can do far more than any of us could ever do alone. Become a partner today. By visiting www.ndtvn.com slash partnership and you will be glad you did. I'm so glad you are able to be part of this. Thank you, Lord. Once again, Father, we worship you. We magnify you for your faithfulness, O oh God. We exalt because there is none like you. Thank you for what you have done and what you are even doing right now. Thank you, Lord, for the souls that you are blessed, you are set to bless. Thank you for souls that you are set to increase their faith today, Lord. We worship you. We magnify you, Lord. We give you all the praise in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name. Once again, thank you for joining on this program, The Supernatural Encounter. And uh, whenever I'm always excited, whenever I'm privileged to release the Word of God, because when the Word comes forth, it comes with power, it comes with healing, it comes with deliverance, it comes with authority, it comes with signs and wonders. And so on and so forth. So that's why I know that you tune in today. God has a word for you. Word of healing. Word of deliverance. Word of victory. Word of power. Just whatever it is, key yourself into this word of faith. Because it will surely do wonders in your life and family. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So once again, welcome to the series. The adventurous of faith. Talking about faith, I've been talking about the subject faith. Everything we are in the kingdom, we receive it through faith. Even salvation of our soul was through faith. And for you and I to assess, receive, enjoy our kingdom inheritance, it can only be by faith. For the just, the believers, shall live by faith. Thank you, Jesus. So faith is a currency that will enable you to buy anything in the kingdom of God, in the things of the kingdom. It's only through faith that you can assess every good thing that God has in store for you. It's only through faith that you can be able to do awesome work, to do greater works, to do exploit. It's only through this word, through faith. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. It's only through faith. Where you are today, you can do better when you, if you are able to increase your faith. That's why the disciples, they pray a simple prayer. They say, Lord, increase our faith. Increase our faith. It takes its only tree of faith. You can access the throne of grace and receive anything. I mean anything for your ministry, for your finances, for your career, for your children, for anything that you have been called to do. Every call is a call to what to exercise the power of faith. 
As what is watching right now, I see your faith coming alive. And by the virtue of this word you are hearing, you begin to do exploit. Those seeds that have been planted in you will start manifesting. The potentials the Lord has invested in you will start manifesting. Oh yes, the gifts that God has invested in you will start manifesting. It's all an adventure of faith. So I'm talking to you about the adventurers of faith. When I mean adventurers of faith, I mean those who have exercised the power of their faith to get a better result for their lives and for the life of others. Either they go their healing, or they are able to exercise the power of faith to do exploit in, in the kingdom, in their community. Those are people that I refer to as what? Well, as the adventurers of faith. Hallelujah. Look at the story of the woman with the issue of blood. Before I go back to, to, uh, to Hebrews chapter 11. Let's go to Hebrews chapter 11 first. I love that scripture. I love that portion. They already talk about the heroes of faith. Hebrews chapter 11. So, they have been, so these are the men and women that have been able to use the power of faith to break barriers. Oh yes. To break records. To move mountains and achieve a greater result. Hallelujah. When I mean the word or adventure, the word adventure can be defined as ability, ability to undertake an unknown risk. To take a step that no one has ever taken before. To make a move. That is adventure. So in the word of God is full of men and women who have been able to use themselves, make themselves available to do more. Now when I look at the body of Christ, listen, when I look at the church of God these days, I don't tell myself what I say. We can do more than what we are doing right now. If, if we can wake up and exercise the faith that even the men of old, they were able to exercise, even when they, don't have, even when they, are, they, they are not speaking in tongue, then they were able to do more. So how much more now that you and I, we have the Holy Ghost, we have everything at our disposal that will enable us to do much more. I see you doing more for the kingdom in the name of Jesus Christ. I see you doing more in your family. I see you doing more in your community. I see you doing more in your household. I see you doing more even in that office where you are watching me from right now. I see you doing more, doing exploit. I should take advantage of the word subject faith. Now, okay, before I go to that scripture, what is faith? I love the way faith was defined by um, amplified, amplified version of, of the Bible. It says, faith is the assurance the title deed, the confirmation of things hoped for, the valid guarantee and the evidence of things not seen, the conviction of their reality. Hallelujah. Is what is the assurance, the title deed, the confirmation of things hoped for, the valid guarantee. Even while you are still hoping, you are sure that the result is guaranteed. Even while you are still hoping, you are convinced that it is what you said to that. It is divinely, mark that was to supernaturally guarantee that. That means it may not be visible in the physical, but once it is divinely guaranteed and approved, that settles it. And that can only be said to through your faith. Hallelujah. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. So, I'll be talking about men and women who have used their, what, their faith to obtain good report. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. Hebrews chapter 11. Let's look at a few of this one and then we shall discuss more of them as we continue in this series. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Look at verse 7. By faith, everything from verse 6. And without faith, it's impossible to please him. For he who comes to God must believe that he is, and he is the reward of those who seek him. So by faith, Noah, being warned by God about this not yet seen, in reverence, prepare an act of the salvation of his, of his household, by which he condemned the world and became an head of the righteousness which is according to the faith. Now, if you read that scripture more and more, 
from verse from all the entire chapter of Hebrews chapter eleven talk more about these heroes of faith. How in the course of this teaching, I'll be individually I'll be taking them one after the other, and we look at what lesson can we learn from these men and women who have taken advantage of the power of faith and, and others as well who are not even listed in the Hebrew chapter eleven. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus Christ. So who are these who are these men and women? Who have been able to take advantage, adventure, adventure into faith and get good report. Thank you, Jesus. Now, these are men and women. They may not be academically proers. Don't forget that. So, as we are today, but they were able to use the power of faith to get a better result. As you are, as you are hearing me right now, as you are watching me right now, I declare and I decree. If your amen will agree with me, that your faith will come alive. And as your faith comes alive, you will begin to do the impossible. Despite your academic academy, you are not privileged to, to have enough education. Education is not until when you go to university or college. It's about self-development. It's about self-growth. Don't forget that. So I agree with you right now that wherever level you are, stay in that level. The Lord will use you mightily to do exploit. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus Christ. In fact, some of these men and women, they were referred to as unlearned. Unlearned men. But they have one thing in common. Their faith is God is unshakable. Their faith is God is unstoppable. Their faith is God is resolute. Their faith is God is firm. Their faith in God is unwavering. Their faith in God is always persistent. Acts chapter 4 and verse 13. Look at the apostles. They were referred to as the unlearned. But even in the midst of that, they were able to do extra. How much more you and I that we can speak in tongues? We were able to have college, have degree, we have master, we have doctorate. Then we should do much more better for the kingdom. Acts chapter 4 verse 13. So these men and women that are referred to as adventurers of faith, the most of them, they, don't have, they, they, are, they were referred to as what? As unlearned. As unlearned. Verse 13. He said, Now when he saw the boldness of Peter and John, and perceived that they were unlearned, and ignorant men, they marveled. From today, men shall be marveled at your result. In the name of Jesus Christ. I said, men and women shall be marveled at your result. <laughs> Through you, so shall be healed. Through you, so shall be saved. Through you, your community shall become better. Because anointing of boldness is coming on you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, I bind and I rebook every foul spirit of fear that will not allow you to exercise your faith. In the name of Jesus Christ, every spirit of fear. I had it. <laughs> Thank you, Holy Spirit. I had a minister friend, and they were discussing one day, and he said there was a time he was he went a, I think he went to a service of song or, or something, a service of song, and in that service the spirit of God was ministering to him. You can lay hands on this person, this person will be wake up. He said, "Hey, lay brother, calabos <laughs> there." He was shaking on sit. Now. Sometimes one of the enemies of faith is fear. Don't forget that. One of the enemies of what? Of faith is fear. So, and he could not do anything. He was just there sitting down and everything went. And, and he, at the end of the day, he began, he began to, he began to, I mean, all I put conscience came on him because he could not do what the Spirit of God has called to do. How many times has the Spirit of God ministered to you and said, go and pray for this person who is sick? Or pray for this person who is blind. Or go and pray for this fellow who is in need. Just agree with them in prayer. It is not you that will do the, that will do the work. Just obey. Pray for that person who is in the wheelchair. Just pray for this person who is... Who, I mean, as many areas you have been led to. Many at times we are always afraid. Lord, what if I pray and this person was, will not, was not able to be healed? Hallelujah. What if I pray and this person refused to seek, refused to heal? What if I pray and the blind could not see? That is not that is not your business anymore. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. 
So I rebind and I rebook every spirit of fear. Bible says, Acts 4 13, that when they saw the boldness of Peter and John, it takes boldness to exercise faith. Right down the way. It takes it take boldness. Many of you have you have anointing already. You have the gifting already. You have the gifts already. You have you have you have it. You have the word already. But one thing that will be holding you bound is fear. Fear to step out and pray with people. Fear to speak their word. Fear to embark on a big project. Because you are looking at your financial status. Oh, Malakabu City, Libra Fear to pray for your daughter that is sick right now. To pray for your, for your, for your son. To, to go out and pray with your neighbors. I agree with somebody. That fear is what is holding you bound. I declare and I decree, receive the anointing and the unction to exercise bold faith from henceforth in the name of Jesus Christ. How many of us have been sitting down under anointing, fishing, hearing the word of God from years to year, years to year, years to year, and still we are yet to be able to even pray for one sick person to be healed. You can speak in tongues for a number of hours. Why not go out there and exercise that thing? You have it like yesterday during the service. The, the guest minister said, You got the oil, you got the anointing, you have the gift, you have it already. Why not step out there and begin to exercise that faith? And Peter and John, when they said, when they said, when they saw their boldness, thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. Boldness is a key to exercise faith. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus Christ. So this, I'm talking about adventurous faith. Those who are able to exercise their faith. These are women and women who are what who are not who are not educated. They were unlearned. You know, they were even, they were stuck illiterate, but they do exploit. Hallelujah. Many of us from Africa and Nigeria, you you, you might you might hear very well. There's, let's come back to our our, to the, our age. The story of uh, one of the one of the, our our spiritual father, Apostle Babalola. Who is a stark illiterate. But this man left a mark on earth, even without being educated. My fellow believers, my fellow ministers, my fellow pastors, bishops and deacons and deaconess, or workers in the church, or wherever it's, it's your office, bishop and uh, apostle, wherever it's your office, you can speak English, you can speak in tongues, you can read and write. We can read and write. Now, then we should be able to do more for the Lord than what we are seeing right now. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. So, these are men and women who are ordinary men. They were, all, they were referred to as ordinary men who were able to exercise extra, who were able to do extraordinary work for the kingdom, for, the, for their community. They were ordinary men. These are adventurers of faith. Ordinary men. But they were able to do extraordinary work for the Lord because what they called the lock in their faith. <laughs> they are resolute in their faith. <laughs> Fear has no place in their life, in their heart, in their life, or in their heart. Fear has no place. They are all out to exercise their faith. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus Christ. These are men, the adventurers of faith are men and women who are able to change the course of history through the adventures of it. Through an unwavering trust in God. They are able to exercise their faith, change the history, course of history. Hallelujah. Men like Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego, men like, men like Daniel, these are men who are able, who are able to adventure into faith. Not mighty losing their lives, but they get result. I will agree with somebody right now as you are hearing my voice, as you are watching me in the name of Jesus Christ. Wherever you are watching from, any platform you are watching from right now, I agree with you. Libra so calaba sete libra zukaya. La kusete maskata libra zukaya. I release on you right now fresh oil and fresh impartation of faith to do exploits in your family, to do exploits in your community, to do exploits in your office, to do exploits in your city, to do exploits in your home, to do exploits in our nations and continents and in the body of Christ at large in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> so who are these adventurers of faith? 
These are men and women that made themselves available <laughs> to be used by God. <laughs> to be used despite their foolishness. To confine their wives. They will be wise. But I will say, I will use the foolish things of this world to confine their wives. I will use the foolishness of this world to confine those who are wise. I will use the foolishness of this world to confine the wise. I see God using you in the name of Jesus Christ. I see God using you to confine the wise in the name of Jesus Christ. I see God using you to confine the wise. Out of your foolishness, the Lord will use you to confine the wise in the name of Jesus Christ. So who are these adventurers of faith? These are men and women who did not limit God to their own understanding. They did not limit God to their own understanding. <laughs> they did not limit God to their family background, to the color of their skin, or their past failures and their past experiences. Yes, they, did not, they refused to limit God. They refused to limit God to their own under human understanding. I've said this last one of the episodes of this broadcast. I said the God that we serve, that you and I know that I serve, this God cannot be limited in any form. It cannot be limited to my understanding. It cannot be limited to your understanding. It cannot be limited to your past experiences. This is how God will move. No. You cannot dictate for him how he will move. Because it's a God who can do anything, anytime, who can move any moment, who can go through any means to get things done. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I see God in practice one right now with his spirit of faith. And like I hear you are speaking in your spirit, you say, Wow, this is something I've been waiting to I'll be waiting for. Something that, that, that will encourage and challenge me. If that is you, confirm this word of knowledge. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Libra Sakabosuta. Say to yourself, I can do more. I am more than this. I can do more than this. Yes. I'll be, my name shall be listed as one of the adventurers of faith. You can do more than this. You can do better. You can get a better result in your ministry. Once you activate your faith. You can do a better, you can get a better result in your family, your marriage. You can get a better result in your career. You can get a better result in your home. You can get a better result in our communities. If all, if all of us can activate the power of it, go into the marketplace and begin to do exploit. That is what the Lord is waiting for right now. Hallelujah. There's a, and there's an era when an, an era, thank you, Holy Spirit, of wealth transfer, but you can only enjoy this era. If only you can activate your faith and take your faith into the marketplace. Hallelujah. Whatever is your profession, it's not until you become a pastor. No. On the job, on your duty, in your business place, let God be glorified through you because you are able to activate your faith. Thank you, Lord. I see about three people right now being marked for, for, for a great commission. Receive that mandate right now and begin to run with it. Let your faith come alive. Say to yourself, I can do more than what I'm doing right now. I can get a better result. If you have won million souls, there are still more million souls to be won out there. If you, have, if you have helped million souls, there are still millions of souls to be helped out there. You can only get this result when you are able to activate your, your faith. Thank you, Jesus. So the adventurers of faith, these are men them that are what that they, are, they, they they may not understand the ways of God, but they trust Him all the way. <laughs> they may not understand the ways of God. Hallelujah! And believe that what He is saying is able to do even more than even more. You cannot understand the ways of God. Just believe His word. Trust Him. When God gives you a mandate, just believe His word. Hallelujah. And make a move. I see God, you see you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord Jesus. So they obey God and hold on to Him. Even when the world think they are crazy. Act chapter 26, verse 24. Act 26, 24. 
Yes, these are pictures of it. Acts 26, 24. So they believe God, they hold on to God, they hold on to Him, they surrender their life to God, even when people think they're out of their mind. There's a level you get to people when you begin to exercise faith. People will say, This one is what you have out of your mind. But you know what you are, you know you are not, but because you are what exercising faith. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Act 26 and verse 24. And uh, as he thrust paid for himself, Festus said with a loud voice, Paul, thou art beside thyself. Much learning doth make thee man. Can you imagine that? <laughs> Much learning has made you what? Has made you man. You know that Festus said? And as he thrust proceeded with his defense, Festus called out loud, Paul, you are man. Your great learning is driving you insane. You can see this somebody who is speaking with boldness and with faith. People can say you are you are insane because well, because you, you you are speaking not because of your strength but you are speaking because you have a God that backs you up what you are saying. Yes, you have a God that back up what you are saying. You are so bold to the extent that you are ready to face any opposition. Because you know, you, you are, when you are exercising faith, there is something in you that will not allow you to rest. There is something in you that wants to go out there and, and, and do something great for the kingdom and for, and for humanity. There is something in you because what? That, that's the part of it. Oh, Libra Satali Kosoto Libra Zikaya. Now, these men and women, they are not famous, they are not after popularity, but they just want to please God and God alone. These are what we are referred to as the adventurous of it. Yes. They are not tired or weary. No. They are never tired or weary trusting God even when their expectations are not manifesting. They are not weary. They are not tired of trusting God. Abraham was not weary of trusting God. Sarah was not weary of trusting God. Even when they, they pass every, every, every level, medical level of giving back, they keep trusting God. And it was accounted for them as faith. Hallelujah. I'm announcing to someone right now, don't be weary. You must have been waiting. Your waiting is not, it's not wasted. Hallelujah. It's not, it's not. Your moment of waiting is not a wasting moment. Hallelujah. It's not. Your moment of waiting is a moment of learning, of building your faith. Yes, it's a moment of, 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 of getting stronger and stronger in the Lord. Your moment of challenge, your moment of waiting, is a moment of what? Of trusting God more and more. So don't be weary. There's hope for a tree, Job 14, 7. Even if the cube is being cut down by the sprinkling of water, it shall pray for so don't be weary. That ministry can still grow. Don't be weary. The business can still grow. Don't be weary. Your marriage can still work. Don't be weary. You can still enjoy your marital destiny. Don't be weary. Hallelujah. For every promise God has given you, every promise you have received that through prophecy or through his word or through direct revelation, whatever form that is not coming to pass, it's, it's, it will come to pass. And I'm agreeing with someone right now who will agree with me that every prophecy, every revelation, every, every, every divine assignment, whatever you have been given, that have been delayed for a while, right now, I'm agreeing with you, receive the anointing for supernatural speed in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Receive the anointing for supernatural speed. Supernatural speed. In all ramification. So they are not weary of trusting God. These are adventurous of it. They are not. They hold on to God. Believing God that whatever He say we do, He is able to do. Thank you, Jesus. Now, who are these adventurous of it? These are people who are ready to use their faith. To pull others out of dangers of dungeons and challenges of life. The faith, now listen, this is another thing I want you to understand today. When God is increasing your faith, or when you are being increased in faith, it's not just for you alone, 
No, it's for you to go and use it to do or to help others, deliver others, advise others, encourage others, teach each other, and be a blessing to your world. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus Christ. So who are these adventurers of faith? These are men and women who are ready to stand alone even when the world turns their back against them. They are always ready to stand alone, to stand alone, to stand, and they know they are not alone because they have divine backup. Hallelujah. Are you watching me right now? You are being persecuted. Everybody decided you because you, you are still Christ and Lord and Savior. You are not alone. You are enjoying divine backup. Yes, the God in you is more than majority. Thank you, Jesus Christ. The God in you is more than majority. So you are not alone. Thank you, Lord. So these are men and women who will never curse God or complain even when the tides of life is rising against them. In Job chapter 2, verse 9, we see the story of Job when the wife asked ask him to curse. Why not just curse God and die? <laughs> but Job, for who he is, a man of faith, a man of integrity, will say, refuse. Job chapter 2 and verse 9. Then said his wife unto him, Does thou still retain that integrity? <laughs> we are asking you, are you still serving this God? Are you still holding on to this God? Are you still holding on to this faith of a thing? Are you sure this faith of a thing can help you? Are you sure this your new religion can help you? Are you sure this God had your own time? Why not just renounce this God and look for something else to do? That's Job wife. Then said to his wife to him, Does thou still retain thy integrity? Cause God and die. <laughs> hey, Libra, said, but he said unto her, Thou speakest as one of the foolish women speaketh. What? Shall we receive good at the hand of God? And shall we not receive evil in all this Job did not sin with his lips. Hallelujah. The best time to test integrity, to test your faith, is when there is challenge. Write it down. The best time to know whether you are in faith is when there is challenge. Not when everything is going fine. The best time to know whether you are in faith or not is what is when there is challenge. That is when we know to know those who are in faith. I see your faith increasing. In the name of Jesus Christ. I see your faith coming alive in the name of Jesus Christ. So those who are adventurous of faith, they are ready to receive insult and mockery if need be while they are waiting for what? For the, for the intervention of God. They are ready to accept what? Insult and mockery. They are ready to accept insult and mockery. They are ready to go to any length for God. They are ready to be beaten battered and shattered, if it need be, Mazaka also to live as there, because of what of their of their faith, of their trust in God. And they will they will know what they will not renounce God. We need more of more and more of such men and women, adventurous men and women of faith in this generation. Hallelujah. And I know you are one of them. If you are declared, say I am one of the adventurers of faith. It shall be written concerning me. And I also what I exercise great faith. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus Christ. So they are ready to die to prove what? To prove their faith worth fighting for. <laughs> first with first Moses chapter 6, verse 12. Fight the good fight of faith. So they are ready to go to do to accept any insult just to make sure this 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 faith worth fighting for. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus Christ. They are ready to do what to they are ready, they are ready to die just to if it need be to what to show the world that yes, this faith of man worth fighting for. <clears throat> they will never let go unless God answer them. These are adventurous of it. These are people that will never let go unless God answer them. I'm praying for someone right now, about two people right now watching me right now. I'm praying for you. I bind every spirit of discouragement. You are getting close to something big, but you are being discouraged right now. Yes. 
Because you have tried before us, what doesn't mean it cannot work right now. You have tried before us, it cannot, cannot work right now. So I rebook every spirit of discouragement. I release on you the joy of the Lord become your strength. Let the joy of the Lord become your strength. Receive the oil of gladness right now. Receive the oil of gladness right now. Because one of the key to, 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 to manifest faith is gladness, excitement to get results. It's, you have to be excited. So I release on you right now the oil of gladness. Refuse to be discouraged. You may have tried before. It doesn't work. Try again. Hallelujah. Refuse to be discouraged. Thank you, Jesus. Say after me, say, I refuse to be discouraged. In the name of Jesus Christ. I refuse to be discouraged. In the name of Jesus Christ. I refuse to be discouraged. Let me mention one or two more before we go into our prayer of agreement segment, which I don't want you to miss. Hallelujah. So who are these adventurers of faith? These are people, men and women, who have been beaten, battered, and shattered just for them to lose that audacity of faith. But they refuse. Hallelujah. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. One of these days I talked about, about that subject. And yesterday the Lord was giving me a, 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 another form of, of faith, eh? the, uh, the topic audacity of faith, uh, which, is, which is for another day. I'll talk about that. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. So they are never afraid of any threat, either internal or external threat to their faith. Hallelujah. As you are watching me right now, may you receive the grace to step out in the size of faith. You have the grace, you have the oil, you have the power, you have the word of God in you. Step out, exercise that faith. Laku Sata. Step out, exercise your faith. And as many who are watching me right now, with faith, receive your heart desire. In the name of Jesus Christ, I call to pass those things that were not as though they were. With faith, receive your heart desire right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, Libra Sakabos Utaya. Turn to Jesus Christ. I agree with someone right now. I agree with one family right now. That by the mercy of God, whatever you are believing, you are believing God for. And in the name of Jesus, in this season, receive that heart desire. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Thank you once again for being part of this. I know it has been awesome. I'm really enjoying the flow of the anointing in this studio. And I thank God for a time like this to be able to minister to souls all over the world. Wherever you are watching from all over the world, thank you. And if you are watching on Facebook, I'm not share right now. If you are watching on NDTV or any of our main, any of our partners or network, I not invite us someone to watch with you right now. Hallelujah. I will take a break and then we, we come back. We go into a prayer of agreement. Don't go anywhere because I want us to agree today. We shall be agreeing on what on supernatural increase. God bless you. Welcome back. So today we are agreeing. We shall be agreeing on supernatural increase. Hallelujah. <laughs> I'm so excited about this. We shall be agreeing on supernatural increase today. So, uh, so thank you for once again for joining back. So Isaiah chapter 54, and we shall be reading verse 2. Isaiah chapter 54, and we shall be reading verse 2. We shall be agreeing. On supernatural increase. Do you deserve it? Do you want it? Your increase is now. Hallelujah. Your season for supernatural increase is now. See after me. My season for supernatural increase is now. My season for supernatural increase is now. Isaiah chapter 54 and verse 2. The enlarge the place of your tent. Enlarge, increase, enlarge, expand the place of your tent. Mm. That's what that one means. Enlarge the place of your tent and let the curtains of your habitation be stretched out. Fear not, lengthen your cord and strengthen your sticks. Hallelujah. For you will 
you, for you will spread abroad to the right hand and to the left, and your offspring will possess the nations and make the desolate cities to be inhabited. Hallelujah. So I'm agreeing with every family watching me right now, every individual. I'm agreeing with you on your career, your ministry, your finances, your marriage. If your amen will agree with me, I agree with you for supernatural increase. In the name of Jesus Christ, when I meet supernatural, I meet the increase that only God can give. The increase that is only God who can give that increase. Receive the all of supernatural increase. In the name of Jesus Christ, I agree with you right now for your marriage. Increase for fruitfulness. For your finances, increase. In your career, increase. In your business, increase. In the name of Jesus Christ. I would say two of, two of us shall agree on the thing that the future shall be established. I agree with you right now. I agree with your ministry for your supernatural increase. Increase of anointing. Increase of faith. Increase of grace. In the name of Jesus Christ. I release on you right now anointing, the grace to extend, to expand, and to enlarge beyond your own imagination. Receive that unction right now. Be connected to that unction right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Say after say, I receive supernatural increase. I receive supernatural increase in my finances, in my business, in my marriage, in my career, in my ministry. Say to yourself, I receive I receive the anointing for supernatural increase in the name of Jesus Christ. Where you are right now is not good enough. God can do more than what you even imagine. I agree with you right now. Increase flow of the power of God upon your life. Increase in wisdom. Increase in knowledge. Increase in understanding. In the name of Jesus Christ. I agree with you. That this season, it shall be known that you will enjoy increase. Men and women shall see your increase. In the name of Jesus Christ, your increase shall be celebrated. In the name of Jesus Christ, not just for you alone, you will increase beyond what you can even handle. You will be able to even have people to join you to celebrate your increase. You shall be a blessing to your community. You shall be a blessing to your family. You shall be a blessing to others. In the name of Jesus Christ. You shall be a blessing to your city. You shall be a blessing to your nation. You shall be a blessing to your continent. And the world will enjoy your blessing. In the name of Jesus Christ. I am agree with you once again. That this season. Let there be increase. On every side. If you are being God for the fruit of the womb. This is your season. Go and enjoy increase. I believe God for career breakthrough. This is your season. Go and enjoy increase. Whatever you are believing God for, increase of sound health. Every area. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. If that is you, let me let your amen be agree with me. Because I know every word of God that comes from here will become a manifestation in your life. No more dryness. No more stagnation. Increase and, and expand. Begin to blossom on every side. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let the window of heaven open for you. Enjoy abundant blessing. Beyond measure. Because eyes have not seen. Ears have not heard. What the Lord has in store for you. So I release you. To go and enjoy. Increase. Increase. Supernatural increase. Despite the economy of your, of your nation. You, that you are watching me right now, that you are connected to this anointing, no matter the economy, you will enjoy increase in your business. You will enjoy increase in your office. You will enjoy increase in the work of your hand. You will enjoy increase in your labor. You will not labor in vain. No more laboring in vain. In the name of Jesus Christ. No more laboring in vain. Go and enjoy abundance of increase. Thank you, Lord Jesus. And so shall it be. Once again, thank you for being part of this broadcast. It has been a blessing. 
And I thank God for what God is doing through this platform. And if God has, if God has used to be a blessing to you, why not join our partners? We take our partners so serious. We pray for our partners every day. We stand in God for you every day. So why don't visit the website on, on, on the screen and become one of our partners and see how God will use you to increase his work. Hallelujah. Everything is for the kingdom. There are more souls to be reached out to. There are millions of souls to be, to be a blessing to. That need the word of God. That need to be fed and so on and so forth. Hallelujah. Not just ritual, ritual food, but even physical food. Hallelujah. This is what we are called to do. Why not join us as we do this together? Hallelujah. So become one of our partners today and you, 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 you will enjoy you, you, that the connection. You will enjoy it if, if you are able to obey. Hallelujah. I declare, go and increase on every side. And I see you again tomorrow, on next episode, the same time, the same platform. Go and shine. Go and read your word. And go and enjoy increase. Please share your testimony. Don't sit on it. Don't sit on it. Share it to seal it up. And as you share your testimony, the Lord will perfect every good work He has begun in your life. Don't give up. Go and exercise your faith. God bless. Thank you.